With the 1148th Transportation Company, it's been a lot of cross-functional training with the maintenance crew. With my job, it's only maybe two or three other soldiers that work it, so I have to take on other tasks like learning the technician position that allows me to be able to understand my job a little bit better. This mission is important to a logistical specialist because it gives other soldiers, new soldiers, opportunity to learn their jobs and kind of be able to work further on adapting and learning the position. What drove me to become an automotive logistics specialist was my previous experience in admin position in my civilian life. This allowed me to kind of come into a job that I was already pretty familiar with. 1148th grew as a company by kind of just coming together and learning how to adapt and work as a team. No matter the uncomfortable situations or maybe the lack of communication between certain groups, we still figured it out. I would like to thank my command team for giving me this opportunity to be able to learn and um, kind of further my career in the military and kind of taking on other tasks that way I was able to just you know learn what it's like to be a truck driver and a technician and then also still be able to do my admin position as well. Operation Patriot Press as a leader has pretty much helped uh, uh, I would say kind of push us to uh, in, in uncomfortable situations and positions. Uh, it, it's helped us grow uh, most of our um, uh, enlisted personnel to pretty much come and uh, overcome adversities uh, during this mission. The trials and tribulations we had uh, on the road, uh, we, we've had uh, vehicles uh, break down and thanks to our maintenance team being right there, it allowed us to figure out how to um, be kind of in that real, uh, real life scenario of how to fix uh, problems as they occur. So thanks to uh, Operation Patriot Press, we were able to kind of have our team right there with us in the convoy and uh, fix those problems as they occur. Operation Patriot Press is important to me and my team because it, it focuses on uh, just being ready to be in the field and kind of getting after uh, the mission. So what it helps us really do is kind of get out there and learn how to work with our team. Uh, it teaches us uh, the uh, challenges we're going to encounter while we're out there on the road. And it's better for uh, me as a leader uh, to work with our uh, lower enlisted and show them uh, what they can expect uh, while out there in the field. Uh, the most valuable lesson I've learned is how to put our soldiers, um, and when I say soldiers, I'm, I mean um, our NCOs, uh, in a position to lead for those who are not uh, in that position already, and how to put our uh, lower enlisted in a position to uh, feel comfortable speaking to the leadership. The advice I'd give to a new transportation specialist coming into the 1148th is be patient. Um, there's a lot of good things coming your way when it comes to driving trucks. There's a lot of opportunities in the military and outside the military with your job. Working with 1148, I've only been here for um, two months, but working here, I've learned a great deal of experience, not only from myself, but other soldiers, other NCOs, and other um, lieutenants teaching me new things every day. And being able to work with human resources and learn new opportunities that come my way. Operation Patriot Press is essentially where 1148 has, has stepped up and we have offered our, our trucks. So we have 915A5s with 872 trailers and we're essentially running log pack missions for Compo 1 in order to deliver um, essential supplies to uh, support the war machine, support Big Army across uh, CONUS, so across the United States, crossing multiple different states and uh, uh, within a two week time frame, so over an AT uh, 15 day period. Our first stop was in uh, Tennessee where we had some full time facilities help us out tremendously with a couple of maintenance issues we had uh, that we were able to get uh, multiple of our maintenance problems with our vehicles fixed there uh, due to their help. Uh, but that was an instrumental stop for us so that we could split up our travel days, make sure we could have adequate uh, sleep rest plan for all of our operators in order to continue mission the next day. Uh, that said, moving to places like Oklahoma, um, when we moved to Oklahoma, that's where we actually drew the, uh, the low log pack equipment that we were delivering. So we drew it, we sat on it overnight, and first thing in the morning we SP'd out to, um, out to our next location. Being in a leadership role, it's a blessing. Um, I'm blessed to be here with, with both peers um, and my company that have been more than supportive as well as um, outside entities like uh, some of the locations we're stopping at, uh, their leadership and their army mentors. They've helped us along the way, whether it's maintenance issues, just general advice, 
et cetera. But it's huge uh, being a commander of, of such a large movement, large scale operation, uh, prepping us for future missions and essentially training our soldiers to be efficient in what they do, and, and that is driving. Bluegrass Army Depot deals with class five, um, class five items in the Army, and they're able to process, store, and deliver and inventory munitions for our, uh, our nation's military.